a baby out of wedlock, a life-threatening disease, bouts with alcohol, a conviction for arson, and then the tragic car accident. Before Lisa Lopez joined TLC and the girls would take home four Grammys and would dominate the airwaves with hits like Waterfalls, Creep, Unpretty, and No Scrubs. No, I don't want no scrub. a scrub is a kind of king, you know. Before Left Eye Lopez got into a troubled relationship with NFL player Andre Rizom, which ended up with her burning down his mansion. Before Lisa Lopez and TLC would become the biggest girl group in the world, selling 21 million copies of their album, bringing her net worth to an estimated five million dollars. You claim that you ain't a name to say your time. What? I say the system got your victim to your mind. Before a car accident in Honduras on April 25th, 2002, would end in the tragic death of the singer, rapper, and songwriter. Lisa Left Eye Lopez was the driving and creative force behind the biggest girl group in the early 90s, but behind the scenes her personal life was not so hot. With the help of a destructive drinking habit and an abusive relationship, she almost took TLC down, and the group was facing bankruptcy. Together the three got back to work and blew the world away with their album Fan Mail and tour in 1999. TLC was back on top and Lisa was simultaneously putting her time and energy into promoting a solo career, until a horrific accident in Honduras ended it all. How did you get started in show business? Well, when I was six years old, my mom. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Mike McCredden, documenting the life of Lisa Left Eye Lopez prior to her tragic passing, here for you on Before They Were Dead. We have covered a few other talented artists whose lives ended too soon, including Aaliyah and Tupac. Be sure to check out those videos, but in the meantime, let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. Also guys, if you want to leave a token of remembrance or condolences, you can do that as well in the comments down below. Just remember that y'all see me on this video tape. Ten years from now, y'all see me in the movie. Lisa Nicole Lopez was born on May 27, 1971 in Philadelphia. Her mother Wanda was a seamstress and her father Ronald a sergeant in the US Army. Her dad played a mean saxophone, piano, harmonica and clarinet and some of this talent clearly rubbed off on little Lisa. By the time she was five, well, she was tinkering away on her toy piano and composing her own songs. My mother's side of the family is more artistically inclined and everyone in my father's side of the family is musically inclined. She soon had two younger siblings, Ronald and Raindrop, and she created a band calling themselves the Lopez Kids. Together they would tour to nearby churches to sing gospel music. Sounds like a picture perfect family, but back home there was trouble brewing. Her father was a great musician, but he was also an abusive alcoholic. He disciplined the kids like they were in the army and would sometimes hit their mom. This led to them divorcing two times and moving around constantly. When she was 19, her boyfriend told her about an open casting in Atlanta for a new girl group. She moved there with him for the audition and ended up landing the role, or the gig, or getting in the group, whatever. TLC! TLC! The group was originally called Second Nature, then became TLC, which you may think stands for tender loving care, but that isn't the case. Lisa earned herself the nickname Left Eye alongside T Boz and Chili. Borrowing the first letters from each of their stage names, they rebranded themselves as TLC. The ladies broke onto the scene in 1992 with the release of Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's seven O's and three H's on the TLC tip. God, I miss the 90s. They ended up moving 6 million copies and had three singles climb to the top 10. Left Eye quickly became known as the crazy outspoken one. She had no issues making bold statements and she would wear condoms inside her sunglasses or eyeglasses. She was trying to support safe sex. I don't think that's how they work though. And you want to roll it all the way down your foot and then you can put it inside your shoe. Their next release, Crazy Sexy Cool, came out in 1994 and sold 11 million albums, officially making them the biggest girl group in the world! Which must have given record labels an idea of what direction to move in because that same year the Spice Girls they were formed, and the Backstreet Boys the year earlier. TLC had three consecutive number one singles with Creep, Waterfalls, and Red Light Special, and were given their first Grammy.
in the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100. But beneath all the glitz, her personal life was falling apart. Since 93, she had been in a relationship with NFL player Andre Risen, but with his temper and her drinking habit, they started to get destructive. Lopez put up with physical and emotional abuse regularly until one night she decided to set his tennis shoes on fire to get back at him. The fire spread to the rest of the Atlanta mansion, and let's just say a waterfall really would have come in handy that day. And you know, I've been called crazy. Lisa didn't face jail time, but she was sentenced to five years probation. She also had to spend time at a halfway house, and then she was sued by Rice's insurance company for all his losses. That paired with the band's money being mismanaged, well, that led to TLC and Lopez declaring bankruptcy. It would be a few years before the three would be able to get back on their feet again. In the meantime, Left Eye cut down on partying and went on spiritual retreats to the Honduras where she would meditate, fast, and focus on her health. It wasn't until 1999 they started recording their third album, Fan Mail, but already things started heating up in the studio. Lisa felt she had outgrown their style of music and publicly challenged T-Boz and Chili to make solo albums to see which of the three was the best. The two ladies never did deliver on that challenge, but luckily TLC moved on to release Fan Mail. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's flying this, also known as a buster. Yeah, yeah. I remember my scrub days. Hanging out the passenger side, living at home with my mama. <clears throat> I'm happy those days are behind me. The album was a success and led to the group's first headlining tour. Their final stop in Atlanta was even put on pay per view and brought in over $70 million, becoming PPV's most profitable TV special ever. Hey, is it true that you guys work with NSYNC? I would have to say yes to that. TLC was on top of the world and Lopez was making appearances everywhere. She was featured on tracks by Melanie C and Sing. She was hosting award shows, posing for The Gap, and even getting a spot on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's when you've made it. Yes, the 64. What? Back in the day, it was huge. You've earned yourself a nice tall glass of Seamoss. In the midst of all this, Lisa was working on that solo album just like she had promised. Titled Supernova, it had incredibly personal tracks on it, including one for her late father, where she makes amends with him. Unfortunately, the lead single flopped and her album was never released in the States. Upset, she switched her solo label to Death Row Records after talks with CEO Suge Knight. She was gearing up for her second solo album and fourth with TLC, then she went to Honduras for one week healing retreat. During this time, she was vlogging her vacation and her last few peaceful moments, well, they were caught on tape. On April 25th, 2002, Lopez tried to pass a car on a small road. She pulled around only to see another one was coming head on. She swerved to avoid it and ended up rolling her SUV. She wasn't wearing a seatbelt. The passengers in her car, they all survived. But Lisa Lopez was killed instantly. Taken at the height of her fame, a lot of people remember her for her talents and crazy antics. But Left Eye also likes to spread the love. Before her passing, she had adopted two children and years earlier opened a public studio from her home where new artists could record on top end equipment at a low cost. Her brother Ronald continued to manage the studio after her passing. Then in 2008, her family released a Lisa Lopez album and TLC has continued on without their L. As for the rest of the story, well, it lives on in her music, in her messages, in her fans, because, um, <clears throat> well, this is before they were dead. My name is Michael Crud. Thanks for watching this video. We have hundreds of videos on rappers, actors, YouTubers, singers, basically anyone who is famous. Be sure to browse around, hit subscribe, and let us know, as always, in the comments down below who you want me to document next.